lot, lot of good work. Let's see how Sky Raisin goes against it. Alright, yep, here comes the Sidrai versus Machamp. She could have gone the Breaks in, which is, I'm pretty sure a guaranteed good matchup for Breaks in, but she really, really wants to stick to the Sidrai. She's doing good work with this, so I can't blame her for it. Emolga's an interesting choice. Um, again, helps with the keep away game, and if it lands, it just absolutely destroys Machamp's speed, making it incredibly difficult to get it. Ooh, just does fall for the charge spirit shackle. Oh, uh, the debuff for spirit shackle actually doesn't last too long. I think it's only like four seconds, so such at the beginning of a match, the debuff doesn't really mean too much. Alright, yep. So we are doing a really good job with that uh, keep away game using the release Y right there. Some nice damage. Very, very fast, a bit hard to react to. Ooh, okay, nice aerial approach right here, getting into the nice and nice damage. Oh, going in, but oh, it does get tech by um, Skyrise and now putting the advantageous situation. Able to avoid the mold right there. Here comes Frog Deer. That's an interesting choice. Not something that we see Skyrim actually use a lot. Really helps with the approach game. And there's a submission right there. Okay. That's a lot of damage. I don't think it's um bulked up though if I remember correctly. Alright. Fiora's doing some post right now. Trying to bait out an option from Sky Raisin. Again, okay, going back for the keep away game, staying in the air. Can't really can't do much to it. <laughs> oh, I was about to say, if that actually can land, that'd be ridiculous. Oh, and there's a combo. It's a close combat. Skyrim is really, really pulling this back here. You're only on 6 HP left, and Skyrim is in a very, very substantial lead. Here comes Frogadier. Oh, not able to combo off of it. Alright, you're only at 1 HP left, and only has 10 seconds to take out 283. Oh, but she has. Ooh! Excellent delay. JX snagging the vulnerable frames of the situation's counter. Actually, a difficult um, counter to catch vulnerable frames on. Um, it's a very, very quick counter, similar to um, Breaks, actually, uh, frame data wise, if I remember correctly. Okay, oh, there's Spear Shackle causing the phase change, and keeping Fjord in a nice distance away. Here comes Burst Machamp, though, but on some immediate pressure just by activating it. Activate Burst, pushing Fjord to the wall, and there's a nice punch off of the Frenzy Point, incredibly minus when on activation, but it's also a very, very powerful command. Oh, kind of a punish, I suppose. Um, oh, actually, it landed with the Aedic there. It's not really a move I see very often. Alright, baiting a, a CADC or something trying to land that burst. And here it comes, really nice and nice and shit. This Citrice burst is absolutely incredible. Just because it's a very good, just end it off, get some last minute chip. Oh, challenging the 6x and getting a submission with his counter frame. Guys are doing a nice job here making this matchup work out. Again, Fjord is doing some nice keep away right now. This guy isn't being very patient. Nice walking and shielding, nice reactions with it. Boy charge counter boom plus. Alright. Ooh, actually able to snag a little bit of a hit right now. Fjord is in a very bad situation. There's an air grab right there! Nice damage! Oh, again, very not a great situation for Fjord. She only has 10 seconds to take out a lot of HP here. This might be the way to do it. Let's see. Right. Oh, this is a very, very scary situation for both players. And, oh, is this going to be enough? It might be, oh, that should be enough, yep. And time up. Just like that, Fiora is actually able to bring it back. That grab right there, Frogadier, just not quick enough. When you call support, um, even if it can be an attack, it does not give you attack armor. So you cannot armor through um, those kind of supports like Frogadier. You can actually grab them. Alright, then we're going to game three here. And actually, this guy's already used his EV, just not want to lose uh, his access to it. Acrobatics on the mix up right there. Able to get the wall spot, not able to combo off of it. Ooh, I will fall for that. I thought that was going to be a big grab. Alright, so Fiora does have her burst ready to go. Able to land the 2R X, I believe. 2XR, I believe. Oh, light armor. So Sky Raisin actually did find a hole in that pressure, but because he's not in burst, the light armor actually did not work out in his favor. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that was an interesting interaction there. Even though he used his attack, he's not able to go through that grab. Nice Emolga on the counter right there. Alright, yep. Oh, yep. Had a hard time getting around that right there. Alright, oh, you're in a very, very good health right now, but if any character who can knock out all that damage, it'd be Machamp. Oh my god, the speed. If you're just doing a do nice job. Oh, not able to beat that. This could be just on a time 
time based wise, this could be it for Sky Raisin. Eevee could help with his damage up, but if he can get in just once. No, wait, wait. No, 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 no way. Oh my god. Oh my god. What just happened? Sky Raisin brought that back. Oh my god. That Eevee and that crit, oh my god. Thing is, I think even with time, he could have won that base only on time. Because of that submission and his percent differences. Oh my god. The damage. The damage. Oh my god. But anyway, we got a character. Someone clipped that. Oh my gosh. But anyway, we got the character change. Fiora going back to all reliable breaks in. A confirmed good matchup for Brakeson. Um, this projectile gang can really keep out Sky Raisin. All right, so let's see. How does this can be a matchup? I believe Sky Raisin might be a bit more familiar with. Um, just has a bit more experience with it. So with our resident Brakeson, Makano, and of course Fiora as well in earlier tournaments. All right. Oh, nice to see right there. Fiora recognizing the counter will not hit and go for a grab instead. Alright, Fiora's doing a nice keep away game as usual. Alright, uh, Sky Raisin is not even able to get his bulk up up right now. He is running Tokus, that was actually a very good um, preemptive decision by him because Tokus is very, very useful support against zoners like the Breaks. He's really up to speed, which would be the really the biggest downfall in this matchup. Ooh, okay, so up now, not able to shield in time. Ooh, okay, able to snap right there. Get, and start getting some advantage going. Oh, yep, there's that counter right there. Fjord just doing a nice defensive play right now. Alright, yep, guys, it's time a lot of respect for that. Just keeping the shield up. Ah, uh, yep, Fjord just doing some nice hits here and there. Oh, there's a submission. See, it's things like this that can really, really swing things into my chance favor. Alright, oh, so Fjord is gonna have to gonna use her first right here. Might be a bit, a bit of a dangerous situation. Even if she may win the round, the first usage is gonna really, really hurt. And nice use of the JX there to avoid it. Okay, so that's actually good. If he actually did not get hit by that, Fiora will have won the match regularly without time up. You see, if you win by time up, you actually do not get the um, cheer skill activation to work. So actually, because he did not die by the burst, it actually does help him ever so slightly here. Ooh, JX not connecting right there. Alright, so the guy's just trying to find an opening here. Ooh, okay, so does not get crit, but gets grabbed anyways. That's gonna be a big advantage in Brace's favor. Gonna get some sunny days up, get Umbreon quicker to activation. Ooh, it was not going with Franks with the helming attack. Here we can see can get some advantage going here. Oh, does not commit to it. Umbreon keeps some distance. Oh, nice grab there by Skyrim. He throws things in his favor and back in the field. Also gets a bulk up going. Ah, oh, JX not able to snag. Oh, counter getting crit on with the grab. It's just swinging back and forth and back and forth these players. However, having a health lead as a break to be very, very valuable. So the champ really needs to make sure he keeps that health lead going. He does have his burst in the back when he needs it. And here it comes. All right, gonna get himself some sort of advantage going here, but also breaks and going to hers. Ooh, gets hit by that fire blast on the point. Uh, how's this gonna- I think Umbreon's gonna beat it. Yep, Umbreon will beat it right there. It was active, active frame. Nice crit air grab right there. Alright. This is getting close. Alright, nice cross up there. This guy's still keeping the healthy right now. Tokus also helping his mobility. Ooh, does not count as a JX. Might, might regret that. Uh oh, that could be it! I don't think he can get it. Okay, as long as he doesn't take any hits. Oh, yep, there's the healthy right there. I was wondering how the percentage would work out in that favor. But anyway, Fiora taking game two here. We're going to game three in this matchup. This guy's having a bit hard time against that break in the Sidgwai. So let's see if he can adjust his play or if he will be taken out by Fiora here. So taking it into Loser's Frack. Oh, Loser's Frack, I suppose. Let's see. All right. Here we go, going back into this match here. Staying true to the characters and support that were prepared before. I, I support both of these um 
support choices. Um, Umbreon is really good for breaks in because um, if she fails to keep um, Machamp away, that's a really good skid off me option. Toad is really good for getting Machamp in. So, both, both choices I can really, really recommend if you guys have any questions in this matchup for either side. Yura already has Umbreon ready to go using her Sunny Days and support building skills. Alright. This guy's gonna get uh, Kalukis going as soon as he can. Alright. And Fiora already has her burst ready to go. Ooh, and there's a grab right there. Oh, Sky is just not getting anything in right now. Fiora's just doing an amazing job knowing what he's gonna do. Oh, just nice move by Fiora by moving sideways, able to avoid the home attack. Man, this guy is just not doing any damage in right now. Fiora is, is working out perfect right now. Ooh, but there's a hit right there. He's gonna be swinging things. Oh, ever so slightly in this guy's favor. But I was able to take out half of Brace's health right there. I think about the chance that he's not he's not out until, until he's out. Because I think Brace is damaged out, but he's absolutely even more ridiculous than usual. But I don't think this guy has any time to make this work. And there's a counter right there. Fiora winning the first round right now. Let's see if Skyrim can bring us back though. However, Fiora, just, that Brown was absolutely dominating right there. Guys, he finds his footing and his options in right now, but Fiora just keeping that airspace in, he cannot jump over. And also using her sideways movement. Oh, counterframes is not long enough. Things are not looking good for Skyrim. And Fiora, however, is just doing a nice keep away game as usual. Making it so difficult. Oh, I like the submission attempt. Ooh, okay, so because of that weird cross up, actually, Skyrim is able to punish it even on hit. That's interesting. Alright, now he's in this situation, though, where he has a hard time dealing with all these projectiles, even with this keep up. Forward Y snap, that right there. The champ going into burst right here. Goes and going to hers on reaction. Goes for straight activation right away. Ooh, Skyrim did jump. He got a little bit Oh, he's wake up slash. Okay. Sorry if he's gonna do. Ooh, and there's a, this is a combo opportunity. He goes straight into close combat for big damage right there. Skyrim throwing things all right back into his favor. 30 seconds left. Um, Fjord might have to do quite a lot of chip work to make this happen. Let's see, as long as Skyrim is not getting hit by anything too major, here comes the Umbreon that's gonna help things ever so slightly. Gets um, breaking some buff right there with the day. There's a shield break right there. This is a dangerous situation. Oh, there's a grab, and that is going to seal the deal. Sky Racing taking this to final round, game three. All right, though, this is going to be a little bit tight situation. Sky Racing is not going to have easy access to his burst. Fiora that has, oh, has that unbound ready to go. He'll able to take away that synergy gauge whenever he gets it. Oh, not able to capitalize on getting that counter. Ooh, actually, he's camping for the projectile, I suppose. Five? Oh, Fiora not falling for that mix-up. Smart, smart, smart. What? Oh, that's, that's, that. That's an interesting interaction right there. Alright, Fiora going into her burst right now. Skyrim's doing a nice job doing his jumps to get out of situations. Oh, that's not quite a punish, but Skyrim does get grabbed anyways, and this is a really, really, really bad situation. It has to get in against a powered up burst breaks in. Does see the toad just ready to kill, though. Ooh, does not fall for the grab mix up right there. Ooh, and here comes burst activation from a champ. This, this could be interesting. Oh, some missions in for that damage. Okay, this is good. This is good for Sky Raisin. Put himself in a very, very favorable situation. Gotta look out for Umbreon, though. There it is. Gotta take away some of that burst. Gotta activate right away. Get some chip in. There's the submission. Is that it? Is that it? That's it! Sky Raisin takes it 2-1 over Fiora against her tried and true breaks and not a good matchup for Machamp, but makes it work anyways. Taking that in a very, very powerful way, that nice submission. Fiora respecting him a bit too much, keeping that shield 